Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video on my channel. So in this video we'll do a brief introduction to linear regression and it will be of course beginner friendly. I'll show you two possible ways to implement a linear regression in Python, that is by using NumPy and stats models. So this video is based on the scatterplot tutorial from the matplotlib series. I recommend you to watch it beforehand but you don't have to necessarily because I'm doing a quick repetition of the main concepts right now. But I'm doing it fast, so if it's too fast, just click the scatterplot tutorial. So, first of all, we have to import our modules, which are matplotlib.pyplot as plt, statsmodels.api as sm, and numpy as np. The use case was that we had to find the relationship between analysis and seniority. The analysis was a tuple or list containing the time spent on the data analysis task in our company, while the seniority is containing how long the employee actually worked for our company. So a seniority of 20 means that the employee is working since 20 years for this company. So what we did in the first place is scattering those two tuples or lists. So we define x as our seniority level and y as the time spent in our data analysis area. We are then plotting this graph and we saw that this graph is not meaningful and we amended it by defining an x label, y label and a title of this chart. Then we are plotting it of course and we are getting this pretty nice chart. And what we observed is that it seems to be that with the higher seniority level, which is those points here, there is less time spent in the data analysis area. Okay? So what is our task now? Well, we have to fit in a line between those points here. Of course, you could do those calculations by hand, and I will cover that in upcoming tutorials. But right now, Let's NumPy do the dirty work for us. So what did we do? I already covered this in the matplotlib tutorial. Well, the linear regression is to find the best line which fits between those data points as said. And that is what NumPy is doing with the following function. So we are defining z as np.polyfit and then we're taking the seniority, the x-axis, and the y-axis as analysis, and we are defining a one to give NumPy the information that this is a linear function. If this would be a quadratic function, this would be a two. So this is the polynomial degree. Then you are defining a p, which is actually not easy to understand, but it is the best case to just print this variables out that you will understand it better. So this p is doing np.poly1d of this z, so this line. And what's happening is the following thing. So this z is giving me the parameters of this line, which I'm fitting here. And these parameters are the slope, which is negative, which we did observe uh, with our eyes, right? So this is a negative relationship. And this slope is minus 0 0.56. And this here is the y-intercept. So it is somewhere here. And this function p is just making this array containing the parameters doing a transformation into a mathematical function of the actual line. So this is the function, minus 0 0.56 times x plus the intercept. You know this function from your mathematics. So if I'm plotting this, I'm getting this negative slope line. And if I want to make it more meaningful, I could plunge in it at here. So I'm getting the actual line between those points. Pretty nice, right? And that's pretty much it. We made a linear regression. That's it. Now let us move to an alternative way using stats models. Stats models is a bit more complicated in my opinion because it contains statistical concepts and not that much visualization as here in NumPy. 
But nevertheless, it's quite understandable if you got this concept here. So how do we start? We are defining a dependent variable as analysis. And we are defining our x as the independent variable as seniority. So in stats models, you have to define a constant in this case. After defining the constant, you have to name your model as sm.ols, which is the abbreviation for ordinary least squares. And then you define the dependent variable here and the independent variable here. The last thing is just calling the model fit, which is actually drawing the line. And then you have to depict the results by doing the summary of those results from the model fit. So let us take a look at the results here, which is in the first place very much information, right? But I show you what's important for you. So remember our NumPy. We had this definition of our regression line, right? And this table is giving us the exact same information, and you have to understand that. So the coefficient of the constant, which is this one here, is nothing more than our y-intercept. And as we see, this is 18.31. And do you remember this value? Yes, you do. This is the exact same value as this one here. So you did the exact same thing. So where's the slope in the in those in this table? Well, it's the coefficient of this variable, which is to be honest really poor um, written here by x1. But this coefficient is the coefficient of your regression line. So this is the, the same value as this one here. Okay. So you have to decide which one you prefer. I'm preferring stats models, to be honest, because I'm having way more information here, like the R squared, but you don't have to understand this right now. I'm having p-values here, I'm having t-tests here, confidence intervals, and so on and so forth. We will do things with that in detail, but I think the more accessible way is the NumPy regression, because you have the visual way here, right? Of course, I'm highly interested. Which way do you prefer? Drop me a comment and thank you very much for watching. I'm looking forward to see you next time. And if you have any questions, of course, drop me a comment. And have a nice time by using the linear regression and finding your way through it. Have fun and good luck and see you next time. Bye bye.